Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetabolicMasterpiece.com. Monday morning, did a little weigh-in after, uh, well, check in on the damage control from Easter. Uh, back up to 160 pounds, but guarantee that's just a lot of food weight, some water weight. Um, nothing too big. We'll see that drop back down as the day goes on and as the week goes on. Uh, it's chest day, so we'll be uh, actually training in the evening, 8 o'clock workout. It's always nice to mix up our times I go based on my workout partner's training schedule so sometimes I feel a lot stronger at night got more food in my body by the end of the day so we'll see how that goes um, take you behind the scenes for uh, some more stuff uh, more meals later on in the day and uh, right now I've got <laughs> got some eggs eight egg whites two whole eggs some orange peppers cooked it up in coconut oil and one tablespoon of coconut oil and uh, topped off with some salsa. So I will catch up with you soon. All right, so I just got back from the gym. I trained a few clients. I ended up doing about 15 minutes of focused calf training, about five, 10 minutes of ab training, and then 15 minutes of intervals on the stationary bike. So 20 second all out sprints, killing myself, pumped up the legs, and then 40 seconds, low resistance, nice recovery phase. So did that for 15 minutes, felt absolutely fantastic. Now I'm home, ready for uh, something else to eat. So what I did, one of my typical snacks, uh, some Greek yogurt, half a cup of blueberries, a scoop of protein powder, about 300 calories right there, and then some chicken breast, uh, not chicken, chicken kebab type stuff. Um, looking at probably about a, just over 100 calories here, maybe 120 calories. So total, maybe 400, 450 calories for this whole little snack here. So now I have a question for you. What I would really like to know is what is your training experience like? As you can probably tell, I forget, I love hitting the gym. It's my me time, I guess you could say. It's my serenity. It's where I become very in tune with myself. I'm, I'm very inward focused during my training. Whereas a lot of other people I see working out, they're kind of going through the motions, they're looking for distractions, they're, they're looking at oh, who's the person who just walked into the gym through the doors there. Um, they're just looking at who's drinking next to them in the water fountain. Their eyes are constantly scanning the gym. They're very outward focused on everything. And I tend to be very inward focused and really feel everything that's going on. Feeling my heartbeat, feeling every single breath, feeling the muscles contracting very aware of the emotional experiences that are going on. Um, my mind-muscle connection is definitely, um, it's, it's fantastic, it's up there. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's heightened, a very heightened sense of awareness while I am training. And I, I learn to understand the feelings that I'm going through throughout the workout. Like when I'm lifting some heavy ass shit, getting ready to do some heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy rows, I've got a little bit of fear uh, and adrenaline running through my veins, but that I feed off that. I, I, I know that that nervous excitement, and I harness that energy and use it to just kick some serious butt. And then afterwards, you get done this set, and that that sense of victory, pride, accomplishment, that empowering feeling, I just. I thrive off of it and I can't wait for the next set. It's just this incredible sense of accomplishment. And then when I go with the lighter loads and slower tempo and really feel the, the muscles stretching out, contracting the muscles, feeling the pump, feeling the blood flowing through the veins, it's just I am completely wrapped up in the entire experience. And I absolutely, I love it. And I, I will do some outward focusing and check myself out in the mirror, check out my workout partner, and admire the, the details of the body, become fascinated with our ability to transform our physique. I think it's pretty freaking incredible that, I mean, we're basically, we are physique artists. We can chisel, mold, sculpt, add clay to our body. It's, um, it's when you really sit there and think about it, it's pretty freaking miraculous. I, uh, it's just, it's something that I love. It's a, it's a passion of mine, but I love every second that I step into the gym. And I, it's something that I really look forward to and I gain so much from that experience. It just, it carries over into all other areas of my life. I'm definitely, without a doubt, you could say I'm very present in the moment when I'm there. Um, and like as my buddy, I love talking with my buddy Sean Phillips about this kind of stuff. He calls it the, the zen of strength. And uh, I really love that kind of uh, terminology with it because it is a very zen-like 
experience. And it's kind of weird to talk about it in that way when you are lifting some heavy freaking weight and you're grunting and groaning, but it's still, uh, it's, a, it's almost meditative. It's a meditative type state, um, but it's just awesome. I feed off of it and I really hope, I mean, as you can see, I get very excited about this and this kind of feeling, this kind of excitement, this kind of joy, this is what I wish I could bottle up and give to everybody. I want everyone's training experience, whether you're training for aesthetics like I am or you have other goals, like whatever, whatever you're doing, just enjoy the training that you're doing. Don't let anyone else dictate what is fun for you. You know what's going to be fun for you. Do the things that you really, really enjoy and produce the results that you're going after. But I really want you to have this kind of incredible experience because it's, it's, it's very rewarding. It's what training should be all about. The process should be way more exciting than the end result. And really when you think about it, when, when you are focused on gaining the best experience from every single rep and every single set, if you break it down right to the reps and the sets, just giving 100% of your focus, focused inward, during those exercises, doing those, during those reps, during those sets, and you create that kind of excitement and enthusiasm, that's what's gonna get you in that gym more frequently, keep things consistent, and uh, get you to want to progress on a regular basis. So the consistency and progressive patterns um, are what really are gonna produce the results. And it all starts by having that, that joy in the process itself. So focus on the process, focus on having an absolute blast during your training sessions and loving every single moment. Soak it up, or as Tom Venuta says, marinate, marinate in each and every rep. Uh, I freaking love that. So I hope that you're experiencing these type of emotions and feelings, even when you're grunting and groaning under some heavy loads or when you're lifting lighter weight and really focusing on the contractions and the movements. Enjoy the freaking process. Sculpt your own personal masterpiece. Make this journey all about you. <laughs> because when you focus on yourself and your happiness, everyone else is going to benefit because of it. I'll catch you for some more behind the scenes footage, dinner, and late night workout. Thank you for following my journey, and I look forward to hearing about what your experiences are like as well. Catch you soon. All right, so dinner time. Got some spaghetti with some ground chicken in there and a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. So we began today's chest workout by pre-exhausting the pecs with some dumbbell flies. Aiming for eight to 10 repetitions here, nice controlled movement. I'm just really trying to enhance that mind-muscle connection here. Really feel the pecs stretch out and squeeze as I contract here. So really trying to set the stage for a killer chest workout that's uh, intensely focused. Um, and just, just feeling the tension with every rep that I perform. So bending my elbows on the way down and then on the way up, immediately I begin to try to straighten out my arms and push my upper arm up against my pecs. Now I'm trying not to come inside of the shoulders on the way up, just trying to keep constant tension on the pecs through this movement. So not trying to maximize any kind of squeeze at the top, but mainly just trying to keep constant tension on the pecs. Now we got my workout partner Rick here, 51 years old, kicking some serious butt, doing some hammer strength chest presses. This is it's a nice alternative to dumbbell presses. You got the individual levers here. It just feels great. Um, at this point, after doing the pre-exhaust work with the dumbbell flies, you really feel the pecs stretching um, on the way down. It's just crazy, crazy intense pump. Uh, again, aiming for about 12, 10 to 12 repetitions here. All right, no better reward after a hard workout than a full strength shape.